Hey everyone, so I want to let you know that I'm presently being interviewed on WTJX VIPBS and we're talking about the screening for the local uh, public broadcast system of the Marian Anderson, The Whole World in Her Hands documentary. Tune in, uh, definitely look forward to sharing some tips and tricks about how I've worked in the entertainment world, but also how I've been able to do so while retaining my cultural connections and sense of self. Pandemic was like in the public to know to not let your guard down. Who were you when I hit? You were in Hollywood then? I was definitely here and I was working in a clinical setting. Uh, so definitely saw some of the most intense um, and I think the most impactful um, experiences on a day-to-day -day basis, right? Seeing how... So you're a biologist and an actor. Tell, tell, us about, tell us about that blend. Well, I think I grew up considering myself a mathlete, right? So I did the math counts competitions, did the district team, you know, studied and trained um, under Mr. <laughs> Mr. Correo, and then just having the opportunity to just really work with Miss Wheatley, who was our, our coach out of All Saints and to, to work on the district level uh, for math counts. So math is probably like my second language and it kind of lended itself naturally to my interests around health and biomechanics and just all of, all those things coming together. That's also your Viking, All Saints. No, 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 no. Let's be clear. I'm a, I'm a Ray all day. Country, 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 and we sometimes come to tongue. Um, but once you went past the, once you went past the individual level of competition, you went to the dist, the state level, and so our team, um had uh our coaches uh at at all saints oh okay 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 mm -hmm. see i don't have that sophisticated setup over there in iraq that's a good thing mm -hmm. and then when you when you left uh you know okay where'd you go to stanford university here in california palo alto palo oh. alto yes sir I beg, I beg your pardon, like we just said locally, I, I kindly beg your pardon. I beg yes, your I'm pardon. Sorry. Look, let me tell you, I have had the privilege of working with some amazing students at the University of the Virgin Islands and having attended Stanford University, having attended Columbia University, having studied at Oxford and Harvard. We compete and we show up at equal or greater levels. So you don't have to pardon yourself. I come from a good stock here in the Virgin Islands. Uh, I kindly beg your pardon, Mr. <laughs> the Ray Cardinal, all them big name there. Okay. I, 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 I don't pay attention a little bit, because I know you you were rubbing shoulders with a virtual who's who. I'm glad for you. That's what we just said. I'm, uh, I'm happy for you. Thank um, you. <laughs> actually, uh, I'm actually impressed. And um, I could tell um, from, you know, just how you articulate, you know, that, um, um, you're confident from within, and that's a beautiful thing. A lot of people don't have that, you know. Self-esteem people people assume that um, people are confident and have the requisite self-esteem. Um, assumption is a bad thing, and, and that's one area where we, we we've taken for granted. Some people really um, they either don't know how good they are, which is sometimes a good thing, right? Uh, or, or they're intimidated by a particular setting when they should be because their skill level and abilities are right there with their peers. You want to know a secret? You want to hear something that's really, really, really closely kept? But for my people, that's I'm going to tell you. That's why I got you on my show to, 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 to share the secret. So go right ahead. <laughs> Here's the thing. The highest achieving so-called um, best ranking individuals in their fields all exhibit a certain level of insecurity. And I think the key factor is having the courage to act in spite of that insecurity and in the space of uncertainty. I kid you not, like you said, I've rubbed shoulders with from working at the White House to 
you know, working and studying and traveling abroad, I've had the opportunity to just come in contact with such a variety of people. And the common thing that I find, even backstage with well-heralded Broadway stars and Grammy award-winning musicians, individuals have this common humanity around, you know, just an anxiety around performance. And so being scared or being unsure is not the telltale sign that this is not something that you can do. Rather, it's a sign that it's important and that with investment and continued perseverance, you can progress, right? So that's the little secret. Well, that's that dope. That that dope. I, I, I'm, I'm impressed all the way around. Now, you were a body double. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> with Tony nominated playwright, Dana Gurira? Yes, the Nigerita, yes. And uh, Gorilla plays Okoye, leader of the Dora Melaje. That's how you pronounce it? Yes, Melage. the Dora Melaje. You got it. Dora Melaje, the all female special forces unit in the fictional nation.